Today's main part is to talk about simultaneous using matrix. Write the following uh, simultaneous linear equation as a matrix form. Okay, as a matrix form. So there are a few conditions. Number one, you must make sure your matrix is in the so-called correct format. You must make sure you get x, x, okay, as the first one. Okay. And then y, y. And after that, you have your negative 50 and 60. So can you see it's like on the same one? It's the same vertical lines, right? Uh, then after that, there's the equal over here. You have to separate them out. This is like the format of the first format. Okay, then from here, right? From here. Okay, from here, you're going to put like 2 times 2 bracket, 2 times 1 bracket, and a 2 times 1 bracket. Okay? But be extra careful. Let me show you something. Everyone, can you see question 10B? Can you see question 10B? Uh, this question is this in the correct format to present your matrix? Obviously, no, right? Uh, so later we're gonna talk about this thing, okay, in a while. Now, uh, so I'm moving to the top, huh? Moving to the top, okay, here, here, here. See. So I'm gonna write all the coefficient now, which is the number in front of your unknowns, okay? So this is an x, the coefficient in front is a negative 1. And then the bottom part, 2, minus 9, 4. Right? And then x and y. And then negative 50 and 16. Is that okay? And then, and then, there is an x and y. The normal simultaneous. Okay, let's check out this whole process, everyone. Okay, make it bigger. Today, main focus is on how to do your uh, simultaneous using matrix method. Uh, that's why I'm going to emphasize this part. Okay, of course, the standard inverse thing, we already talked about it, so I'll just quickly run through that, okay? Now, so yes, I already converted into matrix format, can you see that? Now, next, huh? So, between these two things is the mo uh, is the multiply thing, uh, the times thing. So, times, you bring it to the other side under matrix, we name it as inverse. Always place it in front. So, minus 1, 2, minus 9, 4, inverse. And then negative 50 and 16. So far, everybody can follow or not. Okay, you write the same workings huh? so you know the whole process. Okay, you know the whole process. Okay, Ken? Now, nah. but there is something I'm not sure whether you aware or not. I'm just gonna mention one time so you can skip your workings when you come into SPF. Okay, now nah, everyone, there is only certain case, uh, not like every time. So this allows you to skip your workings. Okay. Now, can you see this part? I'm going to highlight one more time. Can you see this part? You notice when you bring it to the other side, you get inverse, right? You get inverse coin, right? Huh? I take away and show you one question. Uh, see, uh, okay, everybody see this? Uh, 7A. Uh, look at 7A for a while, I mean, just for a while. I, I believe you can easily get me this. I'll do it very fast. Uh. So this will be 1 over bracket. Then this will be uh, 20 minus... Uh, 12, you get an 8. And after that, this one, uh, negative 5, negative 4. Oops. Okay, negative 5, negative 4. Okay, this one, negative 6, negative 2. And then eventually, you have to continue until state 3, you know. I remember I said this. Your first step uh, will be negative 4, 2, 6, negative 5. Negative 1, this is your first stage, right? And then second stage will be determinant. And third stage, you come into plenty of fractions. Then. So you have your negative 5 over 8, you have your negative 1 over 2, sorry, and 1 over 4, what 1 over 2. Okay, then after that you have your uh, negative 6 and 8, you get what? 2, no, it's supposed to be 3 and 4, huh? Okay, then after that, finally you get uh, negative 1 over 2, cry not. So this is your stage 3, right? Now, I repeat, uh, what I mean by you can skip the working you have to check. For certain SPM question, uh, Last time, uh, my year, 20 years ago, used to be like everything you can compare, you know, you can skip the working side. So now it's like, okay, la, maybe one year they come out, then two, two years they come out other things, then they come out the same old version again. So that's the old version that I mentioned about. Okay, so everyone, look at the matrix. Uh, look at the matrix. Uh, minus 4, 2, 6, minus 5. Uh, then after that, X and Y, because the process, everything is the same thing, you know. Okay, the main thing comes in already. Do you notice this thing? When you move it over, you know. 
you know it will be the same thing, right? You know it will be inverse. Okay, but my main thing to you, do you see this inverse answer is the same as this one? Can you see that? It's the same as your A. That's why do you need to do it one more time? You get what I mean, everyone? Uh, for certain SPM, not so for now, lah, this recent few years, 2014 onwards, they, they start to like introduce like hot question inside already. So that's the part where it starts to have like words problem, right? Uh, so before that, used to everything same style. Uh, so you can take this inverse answer, which is here. Can you see that? 1 over 8 minus 2, uh, minus 5, minus 2, minus 6, and 4, minus 4. You bring it and copy paste the answer. Then you can skip the whole thing. Uh, it means you can improve your process. Uh. So everybody, you get what I mean, right? So this is what I mean by some tricks. Uh. Maybe you missed out. Like that. Okay. Now, so go back to our questions just now, just to add something in for you. Lah. Okay, so go back to our original question just now, we do have way in, right? So this one too bad, lah. this one. The part A thing and the part B thing, two different things. Ah, then we have to redo. Lah. So I redo. Okay, so I redo the whole process. If you can do it, you can do it straight away. Get me the two final answers, okay? So X and Y, 1 over with a the bracket, then minus 50, 16. Okay, and then... Normal lah, normal. So I just read out straight away. Minus 1 and 4, you get minus 4. You minus 2 and negative 9, you get minus 18, you get plus 18. So this part, we skip it. Minus 4 plus 18, you get 14. Okay, very good. And then you got to switch it, the first line, switch it, 4 and negative 1. And the next one, you hantam negative inside. Okay, nice. Okay, you notice just now, uh, just now, just now, instead of getting your stage 3 you see remember just now i said the inverse answer i bracket the one over it with the determinant you know why why okay why not you type in the chat uh. why don't i take this and put it here why tell me the reason why just like my personal point of view okay but the point is why uh, okay let me tell you uh. Yes, because of complication. Okay, the com uh, complete complicated steps. Okay, la, better to be this way. La. Because of uh, fractions. Okay, the fractions that happens in your matrix, right? Not to say cannot do, but it will increase your error. So in order to do it fast, accurate, what you do? We better remain the de determinant, don't touch it. Take all the whole numbers. That's why. That's why. Over here, can you see I get 1 over 14 already? I will focus on what? I will focus on this part first. Okay? And finally, only I take the 1 over 14 and multiply it inside. Okay, so that's my that's my style. Huh? Okay, so X and Y. 1 over 14, don't care. I know the answer will be 2 times 1 already. I'm not going to talk about that. Ah, okay, it's okay, uh, it's okay, no problem. Uh, I, I saw it, that's why I helped you, helped you on that. Okay, then, uh, then, uh, I row column the whole thing, you know? oh, oh, come ready, row column. Uh. Uh, why I say row column? Because the normal time that you have to row column. Okay, I'm not repeating that. Uh. So, row column, you see that? I highlight it then. Row column, so I'm going to read it and write it by the side. I'm not writing the whole full process inside, I'm just going to write it by the side. So, in my head, in my calculator, these are the numbers that comes out. Okay, first number times first number, 4 times negative 50, it's in my calculator, I get my negative 200, right? So back to my row column again, so my second number and second number, it's my 9 and 16. So your 9 and 16, when you multiply what you get, 9 and 16, okay? It's a 144, everyone, there is something, can you tell me lah? The negative 200 and the 144, in the middle, what you have to play? I tell you, plus, cry not. Your teacher said plus. Textbook said plus. But actually, the plus, uh, of course, it's an extra, you know. But for me, I will treat it this way. You just follow the original symbol of your 144. Your 144 is a positive, then you use positive. So you take a calculator, minus 200 plus 144. Very oh, nice. You get negative 56. Okay, negative 56. And then, row column again. Row column again, row. 
column. The first number and the first number. Minus 2 times minus 100. Yeah. So this one is 100. Huh? Nah, nah, nah. See, the second number and the second number, minus 1 and 16, you get minus 16. So everyone, again, if I say the same thing, uh, your 100 and your minus 16, in the middle, what you have to place? Student was here and teacher, you got to place a plus between them, right? I'm going to say the same thing to you. You don't have to care about the plus. Because plus and minus is still minus, right? You just use the original symbol. Okay, the value that uh, 16 has. Uh, okay, 16 is like negative, right? This is good negative, that's fine. Okay, now so, it's negative. Lah. Then just put out 100 minus 16. 100 minus 16. Oh, I just calculated it. So I, eat, uh, I get 84. Then I erase off. And now the process is easier because now only I deal with the determinant fractions. So I take my determinant 1 over 14 times with uh, negative 56 and then 84. Okay, 84. So I just multiply it. Remember, uh, don't put the line there. You, know. you put the line there, it's the wrong thing. Uh. Uh, format wise, be careful. Uh, okay, because your, 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 your examiner might treat it as a fraction, then gone. Gone. Okay. So, uh, your 1 over 14 times negative 15, you get negative 4. And then your 1 over 14 times 84, you get 6. You don't simplify or simplify, Protoss cannot. Okay, no such thing, it's not a fraction. So, write this one more time. Therefore, x equals minus 4 and y equals to 6. Done. This is the whole process. Okay, everyone got it? Okay, uh, so this this part of the video, right? This part of the video is about what? It's about your identity. Okay, just do a quick recap again. And then the whole process of your simultaneous. Okay, got it? Can? Nice. So I'm going to move, move, move to the other part already. Here, part B. Part B. This is not the correct process as you can see it's not pq and there is a missing q right so the whole process will be like this i will just come up with the with the equation okay with the equation but i'm not solving the whole thing the, the solving part i'm gonna leave it to you and you try it okay i'm gonna wait for you to worry. okay so because i need you to like really sit down and try the whole process okay if not you really try it okay the main thing is to try first thing you must make sure everything becomes like PQ, PQ, or BQ, peel up for you. But normally I use it as uh, I, I cover it into alphabetical order. So I move this over, I get uh, minus 4P plus 7Q equals to minus 1 bring to the other side. One. Okay, next. Hey, 2P. Hey, yo, Q don't have. What it means? If Q don't have, right, it means 0Q. 0 times Q is 0, right? So what for you write the Q there, right? So that's why they ignore already. So do you notice I have the correct process now? Got it? So once you get the correct process, but before I continue, just want to ask anyone's first equation. Okay, I ask everybody. Uh, anyone's first equation, it's 4P minus 7Q equals negative 1. And anyone's pros, uh, equation is this one. Anyone this? If you are using this equation, no problem. No problem. Okay, no problem. Okay, so next processor, bracket, minus 4, 2, 7, and 0. Okay, in case you missed out, just want to say, if let's say this is a minus 7Q, if this is a minus 7Q, then it becomes minus 7. Be careful, huh? okay? Now, so, but of course, ours is plus up. Huh? Then, P and Q, 1 and 3. Then, you know what to do as the next process will really. Now, I give you some time. You try it, I'll get you the answer. Okay? So, I give you some time, like maybe 2 minutes. Okay? You get the answer, you can straight away type to me. Okay? So, you can do it now. Come quick. So, I'm going to type the answer by the side. Once you get the answer right, you can straight away tell me, like, uh, just okay. Let's say you get your answer already. Okay? So your answer gonna be um, P 
equals to 3 over 2 and your y equals to 1. Okay? So you are, you are done already, you just put OK, you get the answer already, you are not too sure, it's good, you are not too sure, okay?